Wow. What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel. As you saw in the last video, we got our new paint setup for this truck. If you missed that video, go check it out. We got an Iowata LPH 400. It's gonna lay our paint down super sweet. Our detonator yellow paint matches. We got some parts here today that uh, I'm gonna show you that are actually gonna help us complete our color matching stuff. We got other stuff on the way. Um, those will be here in the next few days and we'll get into painting and color matching this thing as soon as possible. I know it's killing me as much as it's killing you, but I just want to get in here, do everything right, do it all at once, not paint things in like seven different, you know, runs. So we'll be able to get all our bumpers and stuff done very soon. Also, we got a set of wheels here. A bunch of big two footers here. We got two footers here for this truck. Now you guys are looking at me like all confused, like these came out of nowhere and that is right. It was a Saturday night. I was looking, looking, looking. These are the last four in the country. Hold the phone though, if some of you don't like it, I'm up in the air right now. I literally bought these because just with the same thing as I did with the Tahoe during all this and all through COVID, we have a huge back order of everything. We got a bunch of stuff coming for this truck from Banks Power. I'm finalizing our lift kit right now with, I don't know if I want to say it, but Kelderman. Yes, we are finishing our lift right now with Kelderman. So that'll be awesome. I wanted a polished look, but I hate polished wheels. They're way too hard to you know, keep up with. And to me, I don't like chrome. So these right here are a Cali Off-Road cast wheel. Yes, don't hear me right. These are cast. Obviously those are forged on my truck. Like I said, it's temporary. I may end up with some forged wheels and they may end up powder coated. However, at the moment, these, I had to snag them just because of what's going on in everywhere. Like I didn't want to be sitting there stuck without wheels. I do love these and this is why I got these. These are a cast brushed wheel, 24 by 12. Uh, I'll have to look at the offset inside, but these are 24 by 12. No, whoa, whoa, no, scratch that. 24 by 14, these are 24 by 14s. These are wide puppies here. But yes, these are 24 by 14, they are mad wide. And as you can see, I've got 14 wides on six, seven lime over here with uh, 40, 15, 50. So we're gonna be putting on these wheels, and as you guys know, these are absolutely ridiculous for what I'm actually doing um, to this truck. Yeah, now I know a lot of you, like I said, Cali Off-Road, it's 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 a, I wasn't really a fan of their wheels back in the day, like I'm gonna be upfront with you, I was not a fan of the, their wheels, but then they brought this Cali Off-Road Summit out, offering it in the brushed finish. Ooh, it looks so, so good. So we're gonna be test fitting these today, and uh, also here in this box, as you guys know, and also I hope hope a lot of you should have guessed, um, this is the grill we are going to be putting. This is the grill we're going to be putting on the Banana Ram. This is a, a uh, sport grill off of you know the 18 to 19 classic, a, aka fourth gen models. Um, this is their upgraded uh, sport grill design. Our Ram letters are shipping separately, so those will be here soon, and we'll have the R A M here now this grill needs color match it needs a lot of taping off i don't know if i want to paint everything or just these fins uh the factory ones keep this black this is color matched all this is color matched and then um obviously your ram letters are in there as well usually color matched but we may put a twist on them no i haven't even held this grill up i literally just took it out of the box for you guys i honestly think this is going to complete our front end like i said we have paintable bumpers coming bumpers with fog lights in them actually wait they don't have they have the fog light holes but not the fog lights i got to order the assemblies but um so <laughs> we're gonna be converting this 20 like i said this is a 2018 tradesman when we're done with it it'll be far from a tradesman you'll have everything you ever wanted inside of this ram uh for a far far less well i guess far less of the the price of a laramie or limited or longhorn or even a big horn so um yeah this is going to look absolutely sharp on here honestly cannot wait to get this thing painted um like i said we're just waiting on a few things i don't know what this is guys i probably have to get a clay bar it's something on the paint something black i don't know what this is but we'll get that off don't worry about that um we're gonna get the jack out of here just took it to columbus when we towed the bed and all that stuff on it just in case um for the trailer but uh also my boots are in here I've been looking for these for like a minute now, and I'm glad that they're actually in the back because I missed them. Even though I need new ones. Look at this, this heel's still jacked up, but we gotta power coat these. Yeah. White. Not at the moment, we need them sandblasted, but I need a better water separator, but yeah, no, those would be sweet for your truck. 
people don't even know what those are. <laughs> I really want to see what these wheels look like on the truck. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to end up with powder coated wheels that I'm also going to put on this, like that are going to match the suspension. Speaking of that, let me show you guys something really quick. Two things for this truck. I know a lot of you are like, oh, it'll be a McDonald's truck. Like who, I don't really care. Like, every, like that truck over there is like Donatello. So it doesn't really matter. It's what's going to look good. And that's the thing. You don't see anybody doing a colored truck and a colored suspension. So now this is two of two and it's very, very difficult. I spent about five hours today trying to pick a color. It is very difficult because every color puts a whole different like, I don't know, like vibe to you guys. Here are two options. The other one, what was the other one? I don't even have anything that color. Orange, but I don't know if I, orange might be too close to this detonator yellow for me to actually like appreciate it. So, that one's like, ah, but here's two options. Obviously here is the illusion purple. And I know I did illusion purple um, on my Ram or the other Ram, but it looks so good. And I do think it looks sharp. However, this, I mean, man, that looks so good. I know I already did it on my other Ram. It just looks so good off the yellow. Illusion purple, I just, purple is an awesome color. I just, it is. And here's another one. This is probably as close as you can get to lollipop red. Um, it honestly looks like lollipop red from what I can see because it's like translucent underneath. This honestly looks really, really good as well. I think this will be a little bit more like almost in your face. I kind of like that. Just imagine this. Just imagine the banana ram rolling down the street. Cherry. I'm going to sit on top. Banana split. Get it. But underneath, um, I think that would look super sharp. McDonald's out of the picture forget that i honestly do think this looks good i think this looks good that looks so good too i can't get over it Man. it would look sharp but i just don't think that makes the biggest statement i do love the red um that to me just like whoa what's going on here so i we may end up doing red on this but uh, let me know your guys opinions in the comments below i know a lot of you said blue but i am from ohio so it's a michigan thing i don't think i can get myself to come and do a um yellow and blue truck that's completely against the <laughs> the whole buckeyes thing going on in this state so that's what i'm thinking uh, it, an illusion blueberry or something would probably look super sweet but like you gotta think of the end result. Do you want it in your face? Do you want it clean and classy? Do you want it like, whoa, that's sweet. Um, there's a lot, each different color will make it a different, will make this truck say something different. Um, I think this will be like, whoa, like late, like cool, that's sweet. This is like, oh, whoa, what's going on there? Kind of more in your face. And like I said, either of these with either the brushed wheels we're about to throw on here or the wheels powder coated to match. I don't know yet, but what I'm just saying is like, I, I, I'm trying to pick a color here about to finalize the lift so I can get it powdered and do all that stuff. Um, so let me know your guys' opinions in the comments down below. Now, like I said, I just want to throw these on, show you guys kind of the offset on these 24 by 14s on a Ram, just stock. Same thing with this truck as my truck. Ram stock brakes, no matter, big lift, no lift. Um, for some reason, they just squeak. I'd like to see if I could get, you know, set up with a cool, like, drilled and slotted brake setup on this with some brake dust free pads. <laughs> I just think that will help us out. Wow, the spring is so baby. I haven't taken one of these trucks apart in forever. I forget how small, like, things like this really are. Because even when I that put a. That's huge. Really? Yeah. Because even when I put the six inch lift on my truck, the I mean, the spring is so large. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. This, let me tell you guys, you don't really comprehend what's about to happen to this truck. You really don't. And it's going to be just nuts, straight up nuts. And I think you guys are really, really going to like it. But let's throw this wheel on and check the offset. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, guys. It's like not even under your truck. I know. <laughs> your tire is like... Literally the whole wheel is like outside. So I really, 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 really was vibing with the color matched wheels with the suspension and everything we're gonna do. I just think, I honestly think that we might have to do this. Guys, these brushed wheels off the yellow paint, um, and some of you are gonna be like, oh, they're not forged. Uh, guys, seriously, forged, yes, they are nice wheels, but you don't need forged wheels. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys. Quality, great. You're great on forged wheels, but don't sit there and think that you can't have nice wheels without them being, um, or I guess with them being cast. These are really, really nice. Um, I, like I said, I'm not sponsored. I bought these. Um, <laughs> the other three boxes are inside. We can show you, guys, show you guys those and check out the offset and everything. These look so good on this truck. If you th honestly think you like this look with the, the, <laughs> the brushed and the yellow, um, regardless of the suspension color, I honestly think, like, to me, just standing there, and the black, <laughs> the black headlight bezel and the chrome bumper really do throw it off, but just vibe with this and this paint. I think that looks really really sharp these are stupid wide they're only 24 by 14s the whole thing like sticks out don't forget oh i guess that's another paintable thing coming um obviously this will be painted the bumper will be painted our new sport grill will be painted um and also i do have the fender flares the factory flares coming again just like we have on six seven lime over here i i i really love the factory fender look on these trucks oh my lord look at those that is ridiculous ridiculous and like i said guys not gonna lie i really like this brushed look with the yellow paint don't forget that all this is gonna be different suspension gonna be colored i don't mind that brushed look one bit we can always switch it up that's the best thing it's eight lugs and swap them out so i love that Summit 9110, 24x14, 8x165.1, negative 76 millimeter offset. Brushed and then clear coated. But yeah guys, here are the other three. I just took that one out of the box. Oh my goodness. I honestly don't remember what my RAM offset is uh, one bit, but uh, that is pretty dumb wide and I do enjoy it. Walking outside. Just this in the driveway, imagine the suspension and everything done. Just seeing that with that, I think this right here looks really, really good. I just think that that might be what we need. Yeah, like I said, I literally went on a whim because I was like looking, looking, looking for wheels and it was like, everything's out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. And then I see I can get four of them in my bolt pattern shipped to me. I think, I, I mean, I literally just had to do it. There was no, I, I wasn't gonna sit there and wait on it. It's a wheel I did like the style of forever. I saw that there was four in stock, had to mean something. We got them, they're here. I Different, I would never, never do something like this ever. With yellow paint, you gotta be a tad creative, a tad creative, but I think it turned out rather good. this part of the video I honestly hate making videos like I we just you just watched I hate giving you guys that content but I think it's honestly part of the build and it's a huge huge part of the build I want to hear your you, you got your guys opinions on the, the suspension the wheels we got an awesome awesome lift kit in the works like I said we can use those wheels there's a couple other wheel companies we may um, you know toggle around with but like I said I just had to snag those 
when the opportunity was there. We got both bumpers coming. One of them, some of it, some of the stuff will be here tomorrow, but a lot of stuff will be here Monday. So we're gonna have probably Tuesday or yeah, probably about Tuesday next week. We're gonna have a huge video for you. This whole thing is probably gonna just change like no other. We have headlights and taillights coming. There's something with the taillights when they come here. I will show you and tell you guys all about it and um, kind of show you what's going on with those. I may come out here, order a set of paintable handles. Uh, the, the texture on these isn't that bad. I could probably just honestly just like pick it up like this like I did on my other truck lay it down and we'd be pretty darn straight to be honest without too much sanding but they also make um replacement handles that are paintable or whatnot if the if the price is decent i may snag them just so when we take the doors apart like we did i don't have to sit here with the windows taped up for like ever i can literally get the handles paint the handles and go one for one take it apart put it on the mirror comes off in no time but like literally just one for one um, do it like that it'd probably make my life so much easier and better because to be honest this is currently the daily driver i do realize i have other vehicles to drive but i love this thing so i don't want it to be down for too long because i'm getting too attached to it i just thought about something that i'm doing to this truck that you guys don't know about yet we could blow this interior out of the water we may have to we may have to. Okay, guys, this build, okay. When I first bought this, I'm gonna be honest with you. This happened with my green truck, too. I was like, let's just do a leveling kit. Keep it reliable. But now I'm over here talking about the suspension I have come is ridiculous. Those wheels are ridiculous. Um, all the paint match and stuff, not ridiculous. Very clean, but completely changes it. Thoroughly, guys, I cannot believe how far this truck is going to come. Very fast is like literally i know we're waiting on parts from our guys over at banks power we have a lot of stuff coming for under the hood just like we had on our ram a pedal monster coming for this thing i have a data monster for this thing inside uh we're gonna do another rear diff cover on this i'm probably gonna order another factory front one just like i did for the green truck so i could just powder coat it and put it on i'll probably upgrade the steering too synergy again i'm thinking i'll see what kind of comes with this lift kit that is on the way man 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 this went from zero to a hundred really quick i can't believe this i'm sitting here in actual awe i'm i'm back to like this is my art and this is like me you know back to building art out of like something just ridiculous this is gonna be absolutely just nuts because there's things i'm doing to this truck that you guys don't know yet i can really play a lot of everything else i do off of that feature so guys if you enjoyed this video shoot a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe smash that notification bell over there click all tile giveaway ends in six days guys seriously you guys don't know if you're not entered if you're literally if you are entered in the giveaway there is a good chance you could end up with the tahoe in your driveway this beautiful beautiful tahoe could end up in your driveway i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for your support thank you guys for tuning in um this is gonna be a fun build guys i'm here to tell you this is gonna be fun crazy wild uh just obnoxious in all the right ways get ready guys you guys don't understand what's about to happen with that and to be honest you know what i'll just leave that out like i said there's a lot i, I there's so much i'll see you guys next time